your timer and here is your question. Once you have read this, tell me because the question is on the other side. Other side. Yes, ma'am. Turn page. Yes, ma'am. Okay. The, just the question is here. And then information is here. Right. So if you have read and understood, considering a critical care scenario, kindly tell me how would you manage this patient now? Uh, I'll manage the patient. Uh, ma I'll manage the case according to the protocol for care for critical ill surgical patient. Yes. Uh, I'll approach according to ABCD protocol after uh, assessment of uh, airway breathing and uh, for circulation. I will. Uh, uh, I will open two wide bore IV channels, and uh, meanwhile I'll take the sample for uh, sample for blood investigations, and I do blood resuscitation, and uh, uh, along with that uh, I'll uh, I'll also uh, put the ENG uh, ENG tube and uh, go for uh, the ENG decompression, and. Uh, Okay, that you have to tell me in ABCD manner, airway first and then breathing and then circulation and so on. All right, considering if you have read the symptoms or the stem of the patient, what are the provisional and differential diagnosis that you will consider for this particular patient? Okay, my top provisional diagnosis would be, uh, uh, this is uh, acute pancreatitis. Yes. And, and I'll, uh, I'll also consider other differentials uh, like uh, uh, Cholecystitis. Acute cholecystitis. Uh, and acute, then ascending cholangitis, perforating viscous. All right. Yes. Can you tell me what are the causes of acute pancreatitis? Quickly, please. Uh, causes of acute pancreatitis would be. Uh, yes, Gallstone uh, disease. Yes. 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 Or Gallstone chronic disease. alcoholism or infection. Can you name few inf causes of infections? or the infections which causes acute pancreatitis? Mumps. Yes. Typhoid. Mumps, typhoid. Yeah. Yes. Post-operative trauma, hyper hyperparathyroidism, yeah. etc. All right. Can you please tell me the pathogenesis behind this acute pancreatitis? There are uh, six factors, if you can tell me. Pathogenesis. Uh, okay, I'll if you come can't, back then to... all right, very good. We'll come back to this. Can you tell me how would you confirm your diagnosis? Is there any criteria that you have to follow? Uh, acute pancreatitis criteria uh, by uh, Glasgow criteria. Can Glasgow, you tell me Glasgow criteria for severity? Uh, yes, yes ma'am. Can you uh, tell Glasgow me what criteria. are the factors that are included in Glasgow criteria? Uh, there are a total of uh, the eight criteria included, in which uh, first is uh, partial pressure of uh, oxygen less than eight kilopascal. Very good. Uh, Age is more than fifty-five years. Uh, neutrophils, uh, neutrophils more than sixteen thousand. Yes. In, uh, and next is calcium, calcium less than two uh, after forty-eight hours. Yes. Uh, then uh, urea. Blood urea serum, uh, this in renal function test, urea level more than 16. Yes. And then uh, in lactic dehydrogenase more than 600. And uh, then uh, next is. All right. Uh, Can you, blood, in case of acute pancreatitis, sorry, uh, in case of acute pancreatitis, patient suffers from hypocalcemia. Can you tell me why? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, hypocal in, uh, in acute pancreatitis, uh, due to the pancreatic enzyme, there will be. Uh, fats due to pancreatic lipase, there will be saponification of the fat, and yes. there will be the there will be the free calcium ion will be bound to the 
prone to fat. That's why it won't be available and lead to hypocalcemia. Well, the next is uh, the alkalosis. Uh, uh, Which enzyme is more important in order to confirm your diagnosis for hypercal uh, for acute pancreatitis? Uh, lipase enzyme. All right. Okay. Can you name two situations of acute pancreatitis in which uh, serum amylase level is normal? Uh, that will be uh, too early or in case of too late, uh, yes. more than 48 hours, less yes. than six hours. Yes. Can you tell me why the patient is tachypneic, this patient? Uh, this patient is tachypneic firstly due to, due to pain. And yes. uh, next is uh, due to development of complication like acute respiratory distress syndrome. Okay. And, and uh, sympathetic and over. Relapsing case. Uh, yeah. Yes. And? Maybe due to complication by the cirrhosis. Okay. Or Can yeah. you please tell me what are the radiological investigations that you'll ask for, for this particular patient? Uh, investigations. And what is I the like. significance of it? Uh, I'll I'll ask for uh, abdominal CT with contrast. And uh, and uh, next will be all you will okay, see. Okay, you'll tell me later. What if you fail to manage this patient on time? What are the complications this acute pancreatitis can result in that you should watch out for? Uh, that will develop acute respiratory distress syndrome. Uh, and and uh, this uh, on the tip of finger you have to tell me quickly three three to four. Uh, ma'am. The worst is Pol death that can occur. It can even result into abscess, abscess, necrotizing pan uh, pancreatitis, fat necrosis. Yes, renal failure, and ERDS. You have right. already told me. Yes. Cardiovascular uh, conditions like shock, arrhythmias, etc. All right. Can you tell me uh, how would you take care of the nutritional status of this particular patient? Uh, for nutritional status, uh, I'll uh, I'll encourage in internal feeding. Which mode than... of yes? Uh, which mode of feeding would you prefer? Total parental uh, according, nutrition. According to severity, yes, I'll consider total parental nutrition. Yes, all right. How uh, how would you go about and give? How much would you give and how would you give? Uh, TPM. How would you calculate? Yes, TPM. All right, we'll uh, come back to this later. Can you tell me, would you or would you not consider giving antibiotic to this particular patient? Uh, according to culture sensitivity report, no, according to your trust hospital. We'll according to local trust policy. Yes, and policy yes. you'll give. All right. How would you take care of the pain of this patient? How would you manage the pain of the patient? I'll manage the pain according to WHO pain ladder. Yes. Uh, but Explain uh, the WHO pain ladder, please. Uh, firstly, I'll, I'll start from uh, giving paracetamol. If the pain is not controlled, then I'll yes. uh, consider adding uh, the... Low, low dose opioids. Yes. And if the pain is not controlled, then I'll add uh, benzodiazepines. You not... go back and read that again. All right. Can yep. you tell me? Sometimes uh, this acute pancreatitis results in formation of pseudocyst. Can you tell me yes. what is what are the components of pseudocyst? Uh, pseudocyst contain amylase rich fluid. Very good. And. Uh, that necrotic is, tissue. Uh, in, in, yes. yes, necrotic uh -huh. tissue enclosed by granulation tissue. Very good. Yes. All right. How should this uh, man? Uh, how should this the patient with cirrhosis be managed? Uh, cirrhosis is managed uh, if the size of cirrhosis is less than uh, seven mm. Then we have to uh, we have to observe, and if the size is increased or the symptom or the complications of uh, the compression by cirrhosis is developed, then we go for uh, surgical management. The surgical management uh, could be the gastrocystostomy or gastrocystostomy. Right. Yes. So this is stomy. This pseudocyst can result in certain complications. Can you name few, please? 
pseudocyst can result in uh, maybe infected. Yes, uh, and rise to uh, rupture. There could be bleeding. Uh, all right. Yes, ma'am. What is the best modality that can be used to diagnose pseudocyst? Uh, pseudocyst can be diagnosed by uh, endoscopic endoscopic ultrasound. And. And, what about uh, by the CT? Can you? Yes. Yes. And all, all right. Okay. What? Uh, okay. Which blood test? Which test can you do that can uh, give you the suspicion of pseudocyst? Pseudocyst for blood test. Uh, Persistent raised amylase level. Oh, yes. Yes, good. Thank you. Yeah, welcome back.